Hey guys, and welcome back to another Angry Birds merchandise video, and today, I have for you a special unboxing. We finally got it! Spring is in the air, let's go! This is one of the quote-unquote harder games to find from Mattel's Angry Birds game series. It was only available at Target stores and was based on the Angry Birds Seasons episode, Easter Eggs. This was the first Angry Birds game released by Mattel to be Seasons themed. This particular Spring is in the Air game was released March of 2012. This was the last US market Angry Birds Mattel game that I did not possess. I got this game off eBay for an absolute steal, it was only $15. The game was in mint condition, it was sealed and included all of its parts. The only blemish would be the weird looking hole on the side that I don't even know how that got there. So here's some fun facts about Spring is in the Air. So Spring is in the Air was supposed to be released with the rest of Wave 1, which included Knock on Wood and On Thin Ice. But it wouldn't make sense to release this game late in 2011, so they pushed the release date back to March of 2012, so that way, you know, you could release a Spring game in the Spring. Smart, right? The thing is, in 2012, Wave 2 was just around the corner, and Mattel was looking to make improvements upon Wave 1. So basically, this game was stuck in Angry Birds Mattel Purgatory. So the thing is, this game really didn't know if it wanted to be part of Wave 1 or be part of Wave 2. The overall styling suggests that it should be part of Wave 1, but some of the contents inside show that it wanted to be part of Wave 2. In 2012, for Wave 2, Mattel updated the bird and pig models to be more game accurate. You see, the styling isn't updated, but the birds are, but the pigs are still the old style pigs. It's really confusing. This set is like a mix of both worlds. But that really makes this set unique, and that's why I like it so much. I also have a feeling that's why Mattel made it a Target exclusive, so that way not as many people would see its weirdness. Moving on to the set's contents, it includes three large girders, two small girders, three snappable ice girders, two ice blocks, two ice cubes, 34 mission cards, and six point cards. This game also included two exclusive crackable eggs with some pretty neat designs on them. But probably the most important part of this game are the characters. This game includes two Angry Birds, Red and Matilda, and it also includes three pigs. One King Pig without his crown, one Mustache Pig, and one Minion Pig. And it also came with two bonus point bunny ears, which are easily removable off the pigs. Although for whatever reason, one of the pigs came with his ears backwards. I don't know. And of course, in order to play the game, you're gonna need your bird launcher. And the birds fit nicely inside. So overall, I am super happy I finally completed the USA Angry Birds Mattel Games Collection. So moving on to something you maybe didn't know about the set, it actually underwent two name changes during its development. And you can get a glimpse there of what an older style Matilda would have looked like with the wings on the side. They appear to be black in this picture. You can also see some different designs for the crackable eggs. So yeah, this set's really funky, but that's why I love it.